If you're on social media, you've definitely noticed a certain guy's name popping up a lot lately. You might even have seen the videos and tweets of him making some really controversial statements, which might have pissed you off, too. The guy we're referring to is ex-British American kickboxer Andrew Tate. And in today's video, we're going to tell you all about his dark past. Who is Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate is a 35-year-old ex-kickboxer who also appeared on the American reality TV show Big Brother, but he was forcibly removed from the show after a video of him appearing to assault a woman came out. Trigger warning, in that video, Tate was caught on camera cursing his ex-girlfriend, striking her with a belt, and telling her to count how many bruises he gave her. Not a surprise that people don't like him. After everyone got riled up by the footage, Tate tried to clear his name. He talked to The Sun in 2016 and claimed that this video was actually a role play. He revealed that the acts performed in the video were consensual and that he and said ex-girlfriend are still friends. He even went so far as to post a video of a woman claiming to be his ex who confirmed what he said. Recently, he even had a little verbal tiff with Jake Paul. After it was revealed, he got more Google searches for his name. He claimed that he is more famous than Paul. He then promised to someday annihilate Paul in the ring. He even went so far as to brand himself as the top man in the world. What does that even mean? It's as if he thinks he's God's gift to Earth. His takes on mental illness aren't a good look either. Tate was once again put under fire in September of 2017 when he publicly stated that depression was not an actual disease. He posted a thread consisting of 13 tweets arguing that depression isn't real, that people are simply lazy and looking for an excuse to shirk their responsibilities without having to feel bad about it. He also said that the reason you're depressed is because your life is depressing, so just toughen up and get over it. His exact words were, there are very few fat, lonely men aged 60 with no money or family or hobbies who aren't depressed. This is not a clinical disease. It's surprising that someone has the audacity to publicly hold such terrible opinions in 2022. His explicit misogyny. The next shocking opinion he voiced was in October 2017. He began claiming that women should partially accept responsibility for being sexually assaulted after the allegations came to light against the now disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. In January 2022, Twitter said an account he had made on the website was verified by accident after previously removing him off the platform twice. Yeah, no one wants to hear what this guy has to say. There was another instance where he even said that men get higher scores than women on IQ tests. And when that statement was proven wrong, he said that he was just offering his own two cents because he played a lot of chess growing up. How does that make any sense? Oh yeah, it doesn't. And for some reason, he doesn't think his opinions are sexist at all. He just thinks they're objective because according to the Bible, women should serve men. He is an advocate of sexual assault. We're not done yet. In one of the videos he uploaded on his YouTube channel, he exposed himself and said that 40% of the reason he shifted to Romania was because Romanian police weren't that likely to pursue sexual assault cases. This combined with his misogyny, and we won't be too far off assuming that he might himself plan on assaulting someone. One thing's for sure, we can understand why no social media wants this guy voicing his opinions. Now that we've covered all the terrible things this guy has said, let's move on to some of the even bigger things he's done. The webcam model swindling debacle. In March 2022, Andrew, along with his brother Tristan, were raking in millions of pounds from their online business. What did they do in this business? Glad you asked. They used webcam models to make desperate-looking men hand over their money after falling for their made-up stories, the Daily Mirror reported. Tristan even bragged that one man forked over his 20,000-pound inheritance, while many others have gone into massive debt. How did they do it? They ran a sort of makeshift studio filled with models in skimpy lingerie and would charge men $4 per minute. As if that's not already ridiculously expensive, they'd even encourage the guys to ask for private shows and tip the girls. The girls on the service would have their sob stories ready beforehand. They'd claim to have large amounts of university debt or a family member in need of medical care. Some of them would even say they have dreams of shifting to the UK and to further egg on their customers. They'd even express their desire to meet them in person. Andrew revealed that one model used the alias Chloe. They took her to Bucharest, but would lie and tell viewers that she was in London, so she seemed more accessible to them. Even when the girl who was actually playing Chloe was unavailable or would go to sleep, they would take her phone and together they'd talk to the guys and take their relationship further, making them feel a false sense of intimacy before scamming them. It's not just them. The women earn a pretty penny through this business, too. For example, one woman was a Londoner named Jessica. She worked for the Tate Brothers and revealed that several men collectively sent her enough money for a boob job. She's moved on to other business endeavors, though. Now you can catch her on OnlyFans, where she's making 10,000 pounds per month. They're not the least bit sorry about the whole thing, either. They have openly confessed this business is a complete scam to the Daily Mirror. Tristan even said to the Sunday Mirror, he does not feel any guilt at all. Wow, he couldn't even be bothered to try and look sorry. Really speaks volumes about this man. We can't help but wonder how he's not in jail right now, especially given that his actions aren't exactly a secret, either. Human trafficking? In April 2022, Tate's house in Romania was searched as part of an investigation of human trafficking. In a statement he made to the Daily Beast, the Romanian official said, The raid on the Internet Star's house was part of an investigation that started after a woman was reported to be held at the house involuntarily. 
The investigation then escalated to include crimes of human trafficking and rape. In the midst of the investigation, a spokesperson said no one had been charged with anything or arrested as of April 27th. Then a video was shared by a Romanian news site. In it, armed police went up to the Tate House, but by the looks of it, nobody was arrested. On their podcast, the brothers even addressed such claims, laughing about the whole thing as though it was some joke. Tristan explained the whole thing, saying that the real story behind why his home was raided was that some girl had gone to a party at their place and her boyfriend saw her stories on Instagram. Apparently, the girl told her boyfriend that she didn't want to go to the party at first, and when she did go, Tate and Andrew wouldn't let her leave, which, according to the Tates, was a stupid excuse. Obviously, the boyfriend then called the police and told them everything, and the police then went to the house and saw what was going on. Then he even mocked her boyfriend for believing her and threw a string of insults at the girl, calling her ugly and a string of misogynistic profanities. However, rumor spread that a missing woman had, in fact, been discovered in their home as well as the woman the police were there for. We can see why people aren't convinced. That debate. Recently, clips of Andrew Tate and Felix, a.k.a. XQC's public debate, went pretty viral. The two had an intense debate on Adam Ross's stream, and fortunately, Felix called him multiple times for his misogynistic and weird comments. Their first disagreement was when Tate claimed that all women are bad drivers. This was the time when he suggested that his girlfriends are his property, even likening them to owning a car. He said that the reason he won't let his women enter the club is because that would be the same thing as leaving a car in a dangerous parking area. XQC, like any normal person, was seriously enraged by these comments and pointed out the bizarre hypothetical situations that Tate keeps mentioning. And he also disagreed with the idea that it's the duty of men to keep their female partners safe. Obviously, this constant arguing didn't really get anywhere since both of them were convinced of their viewpoints, and eventually Tate ended up walking out of the stream because he was continuously being interrupted. We know that Felix meant well, but many people noticed that this debate just ended up giving Tate even more publicity, which is exactly what his goal was. Again, the best thing to do would have been to not have such a debate at all. We can't say we're surprised at any of his comments either. Hustlers University for now, Andrew has sort of transformed his persona into that of an online guru who teaches young people how to live their lives and make money. Does he have any qualifications for this sort of thing? Nope, not at all. But this is the era of social media, and apparently everyone can do whatever it is that pleases them. He founded the so-called Hustlers University, which is a Discord community of more than 140,000 members. With an admission fee of $49, he and professors verified by him promised to teach you how to quickly make a lot of money. According to the university's official website, the students have access to a variety of things. There's crypto analysis, stock analysis, etc. You can see where this is going. He promises that he teaches his students how to excel in fields anyone, anywhere, can use to make money. There will be no filler content, just tough lessons in making money right away. The university also has plenty of courses on dating, chess, body language, reading people, fitness, and networking. What he conveniently forgets to mention in this website is that this university is just another thing he's come up with to make more money to go into his own pocket. If someone inexperienced runs into this, they'll be interested and will want to see what it is for themselves. People have given good reviews. Others have called Andrew a grifter. But that leaves one question. Do the people signing up for this actually see results? What he does is he tells whoever signs up to get other people to sign up too, and they'll get a cut. Those people then share his video with an affiliate link that takes you to the site. Following this, more and more people sign on, who then get other people to do the same. This explains why he's been popping up so much on every single social media. The whole thing just screams pyramid scheme. And that's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on Andrew Tate and Hustlers University? You think it's legit or is it a scam? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.